Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is on two really simple but really elegant looking updos. They're perfect for homecoming or any other special occasion that you have coming up. The first one is more of a romantic upswept look. Each updo took me under 15 minutes to achieve so they are, like I said, super duper easy to achieve. The second one is more of a bohemian look and this one literally took me five minutes. Say what? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. If you guys wanna see how to do these two really simple updos, then please keep watching. So this is what my hair looks like when it just naturally air dries. I'm just gonna take the top portion of my hair and twist it up and just pin it out of the way so we can curl the bottom layer. I'm gonna go ahead and just brush out any extra tangles that I have going on because I wanna make sure that I don't curl any tangles into my hair because that's not a cute look. I'm using my Irresistible Me 8 in 1 Sapphire Curling Wand. I'm taking the third biggest rod and I'm gonna go ahead and just curl my hair. I am not focusing on making these curls perfect. All I need is a little bend to my hair, a little bit of wave, because this look will be a lot easier for you if you have a little bend and a little bit of texture in your hair. So just go through your hair and curl it really quickly. Don't spend too much time on making your curls perfect because that is not what this look is about. This look is about just kind of romantic, messy, wavy sexiness. Yep. And now that I'm reaching the top portion of my hair, I'm trying to get my curl as close up to my scalp as I can because I really want to see that texture in my crown area and on the top portion of my hair. I really like the way that the waves look when they're super close to your head with a smaller curling iron because it just looks more romantic and messy that way. I'm also alternating curls every which way so there's no rhyme or reason like I said it's just kind of whatever so this is what your hair is gonna look like really crazy and nuts for a second so don't freak out now I'm gonna go back through and brush the curls out like I said all we need is a little bit of texture they don't have to be perfect now I'm taking my big sexy hair hair powder and I'm just gonna put this in my roots to give us a little bit of extra texture the main thing to remember with updos is you need texture to make it work it's just gonna make things so much easier to place and so much easier to maintain that volume and maintain your updo throughout the night. You need that texture to just hold it in place. So now I'm adding a little bit of back combing through my hair and giving myself a little bit of volume. Up next I'm just going to separate my crown area away from my face so I don't get it mixed up with the front part of my hair. So I'm just clipping that back with a big clip and I'm leaving about two inches out in the front for my bang area. Now I'm using my infinity headband and I'm just going to clasp it around underneath the back part of our hair so we'll have the hair flowing over the elastic part of the headband. These headbands are amazing. They're so versatile so I just love to kind of spice up and updo with them. But anyways, um, the next step is to go ahead and just take random pieces from your crown area and just twist them and pin them. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. Sometimes it helps to put a mirror behind your head and in front so you can see what you're doing in the back. Um, that's what I usually do when I'm doing updos so you can see what you're doing back there but yeah, I'm just taking random pieces and just pinning them wherever I please don't worry if your bobby pins are showing because we're going to be covering them up in just a little bit here once you've pinned up your crown area so it's all pinned up on the top portion we're gonna go to the front part of our bang so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna twist it and we're gonna just grab a little piece at the bottom of the twist and push the rest of the twist up so it gets really big and voluminous and messy looking then we're just gonna cross it over back and hide the bobby pins that we don't want to show so I'm just pinning that in place and it's really simple now we're just gonna go to the opposite side of our head and do the same exact thing and cross that one underneath the previous twist that we just did. Now I'm going back to the opposite side, twisting, and I'm gonna push that twist up right now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cross that underneath the previous twist that we just did. And I'll get a better shot of what I'm doing in just a second here. So um, once again, I went to the opposite side. So it's kind of just crisscrossing, going alternating sides and twisting and pinning. Um, this is my favorite technique for updos just because it's so simple and it looks so intricate But it's really really easy So as you can see I'm just putting that underneath the rest of the twist and I'm pinning it So once you have all of your bang area and the upper part of your hair all twisted and pinned We're gonna go ahead and move to the bottom portion which is still hanging down So we're gonna copy exactly what we did with our bang area by twisting a section and Pushing it upwards then we're just gonna roll it up into a little ball and just pin it in place. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this style, so just pin it to the way that you think is 
best it's really best if you just don't try too hard just push it up and just pin it and then just kind of work with it and pull at it you know make it your own so I, I'm splitting my bottom section into three different sections so I already pinned up my first section now I'm gonna go ahead and pin up the middle section so here I am twisting it up and I'm just gonna pin that into place don't worry about making it too perfect at first because we can always go back and just fix it We can hide things that are sticking out we can make it bigger whatever you want to do don't worry about making it too perfect the first time around so now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the last little section on the bottom here so here it is from the front I twisted it and now I'm pushing it upwards and I'm gonna roll that bad boy up and pin him as you can see I have little pieces hanging down it's totally easy to hide them and to fix it and make it perfect once you've got everything pinned so after you pin everything just go back through and just kind of detail it and hide things that you want hidden make things bigger that you want bigger and just kind of pull at it It's all about playing and just kind of messing around with it. So that is the first look. Like I said, it looks super romantic and loose. One of my favorite updos. And as you've seen, it's super easy to achieve. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the second look, which is also really, really easy. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now to start off this look, I did do the same exact thing as we did with the other updo by clipping up my crown area and just getting it out of the way. I'm placing another infinity headband right where my bang meets my crown area. And I'm just going to clip that in place like that. And now I just released my hair so it flows over the back of it. Now I'm just going to do a Dutch braid. Super simple. I'll link a video down below that shows you an in-depth tutorial of how to achieve this braid. It's super easy. Even if you just watch this video a couple times, I'm sure you could get it down if you don't know how to do it already. So go ahead and braid your hair halfway through and once your braid leaves the side of your head that's when you know to start just braiding and stop collecting additional hair and just braid it all the way down into a normal braid you could even do a fishtail braid if you want but this is just way easier in my opinion next I'm just gonna go through and pull the braid apart to make it bigger I prefer to pull from the middle of the braid because it makes it look larger rather than looser so I'm just pulling from the middle and making this braid as big as I want it to be. Once your braid is as big as you'd like it, go ahead and just cross the braid over and pin it in the middle of your head like so. Now on the opposite side of my head, I'm just going to create a simple braid incorporating some of my bang area along with some of the area behind the headband. So go ahead and braid it and when you're braiding it, make sure you're pulling it backwards so when you do pull it backwards, it lays nicely. And I'm also pulling this one apart as well because I like big braids and I cannot lie. Tried to wrap but it didn't work. But anyways, I'm crossing that braid right underneath the big braid that we just created. I'm just going to pin that into place as well. And now with the remaining hair that's down below the braids, go ahead and just take your fingers and wrap the hair around them. And then just tuck the little tail inside of the tunnel, inside of the the pin curl I guess you could say and I'm just gonna pin that into place I'm gonna split my hair into three or four sections I'm not really sure yet um, but I'm just taking section by section and I'm wrapping it around my fingers upwards and then I'm gonna tuck the little tail once again inside of the little tunnel area that's so not the proper name but you guys know what I mean and then I'm just gonna clip it right next to the other pin curl that we've already created and I prefer them to be a little bit more messy I don't like them to be extremely perfect so it all looks like a big sausage I like it to be a little bit messy and kind of tousled looking so you can make these as messy or as sleek as you want them to I prefer to go with a little bit more messy but that is really it for this style and I'm just gonna curl my little bang area that I have hanging down here and you've completed it that's all there is to it so I hope this video helped those of you who have a special occasion around the corner. Otherwise, it's great to wear it on just a day-to-day -day basis as well if you want to just be a little extra sassy one day. I think that'd be super cute as well. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye, guys.